Morning, everybody. Sunday, November 23rd. It's not Sunday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, November 23rd. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I need coffee. Caroline's at the gym. John is golfing. I'm here with the dogs. Not sure what to do. Today on Shop Talk. <laughs> Today on Shop Talk. Pachinko machines. Today on Shop Talk. Today on Shop Talk, we're talking about pachinko machines. Pachinko comes from the same family as pinball. They're really closely related. Uh, except with pachinko, you play with tiny steel balls. Use one lever to launch that ball up this circular track, and that, that ball will then free fall down these nails, hitting either these obstacles, the nails, or falling into one of these chutes. And once those chutes are loaded enough and you get the right combination of, of triggers, it will essentially launch more pachinko balls, allowing you to play longer. Anyway, let's check out how this pretty complicated little mechanism works. The whole game starts with essentially your loading tray. You would buy pachinko balls from the vendor from the arcade and you would place them in here. When you win or get a jackpot, those balls are sent down in here to continue playing pachinko or redeem them for points. You launch the pachinko ball using this lever right here. Now the ball will travel farther if you pull it down farther. It will travel shorter if you release it from a shorter distance. It all depends on where you want the ball to go in the field. So I will send a ball all the way to the far right side of the field by pulling the lever all the way down. Now, to strategically try and get it on the left side of the field, I'll pull the lever just a little bit less. And if I come up too short, you'll see the ball here can get rejected. It goes up and goes back down. And that ball gets sent to the reject bin. mechanism is encased in this plastic case and inside of that are chutes and passageways that these pachinko balls can fall into and either get expended to be reused again or they trigger using their own weight these mechanisms that will then once loaded allow for essentially a jackpot of pachinko balls so it loads up this mechanism That's what a jackpot looks like from the back of the pachinko machine. I didn't mean to do that. Essentially to reset that jackpot, I have to load more pachinko balls into the top to trigger the mechanism that basically says it has enough balls to play. So those pachinko balls travel through the hole we cut in the top of the frame into this hopper, down this chute which has triggers, which essentially tell the machine that it's ready and loaded, ready to play. Here's the mechanism that I triggered before. I'm not gonna touch that again. Pachinko machines are very complicated. Okay, I've got a pachinko machine loaded up, ready to go. Let's see how long it takes to get a jackpot. Uh, that concludes today's shop talk. We're attempting one of the most dangerous feats known to man. We're going to the grocery store the day before Thanksgiving. Okay, we survived the grocery store. Now we gotta go to the other grocery store to get our... Good job, babe, we survived the grocery store. Yeah. Well done. So we went from the average grocery store to the natural grocery store. 
and I came over and I was, it, it smells like Eugene, Oregon, and I was hoping to find. <laughs> So we're back home from going to the grocery store, successful run, but we decided to pick up John's dry cleaning and when he dropped off his laundry at the dry cleaners, I don't think they understood that some was laundry and some was dry cleaning because, well, that's what $260 worth of dry cleaning looks like with a dog on it. Okay, we just had Chinese food for dinner, and now, after months of waiting, we're gonna watch The Secret Life. It was a funny movie. Yeah, it was cute. Secret Life Pets. Yeah. So, yep. had a fun day, had a good dinner, mm -hmm. good movie. Had a schwitz. I didn't have a schwitz, but we're gonna go to bed. <laughs> you had a schwitz? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving!